I can convince you that I've solved this Sudoku without revealing my solution. Here's how I would do it. First, I'm going to anonymize my solution by replacing ones with stars, twos with hearts, and similarly for the other numbers. After that, I'm going to put a sticky note over each individual cell. With the Sudoku covered this way, I'm going to pass it over to you, and now it's your turn. You're allowed to do one of three things. You can reveal a row, a column, or a box. So what does that get us? Well, if you look here, you see that every symbol is different, so my solution is valid at least in this box. At the same time, you don't know what mapping I use between numbers and symbols, so this doesn't give you any information about my actual solution. This doesn't prove that the whole solution is correct, but if my solution is wrong, meaning there are duplicate numbers in a single row, column, or box, there's a chance you'll pick exactly the right region and catch me red-handed. The probability that you would catch me is quite small, but that's fine because we can just repeat this protocol as many times as you want to increase your confidence that my solution is correct. If you find this interesting, we also have a whole 20-minute YouTube video about this that you can watch over your next lunch break. You might notice that I haven't mentioned how do we verify that the solution actually corresponds to the original clues that were in the Sudoku. It is possible to do that, but I'm leaving it as an exercise to the viewer.